Baby armadillo. Humans will pet anything. How wonderful, then, to live on a planet full of creatures that like to be petted. This is so true. I tried petting a lion once and now I've got one hand though. I was annoyed at myself for being obsessed with soap making for three straight months and making way too much soap, but now I'm not. I can give heaps of soap to everyone in a 20 mile radius of me. And I have plenty of precious little eggs for my illegal chickens. Only neighbors who didn't snitch to the HOA get free eggs though. Bet you wish you had some fresh eggs right now, huh Richard? Chaotic good, LMAO. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of kids, but if a child looks at me, then you bet I'm gonna smile back at them. Kid deserves to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore, okay? But the world is not kind and safe. Then freaking do your part and make it that way! Smile at the little kid! Apparently, I'm playing Skyrim again, and by playing Skyrim, I obviously mean spending hours installing mods before I ever open the game. For play with Todd. Do you think before you post? Yes, I think. Ha! Funny. And hit the post. My thighs are high because they're full of secrets. Wrap them around my ears and let me hear them all. You smooth mother fricker. Dale, get out of the hot tub. We're stealing a news van. It's the perfect crime. How will they ever report it? I'll never get over how great that joke is or the show. It was fantastic. Like Zoic Scoob, every mystery we solve brings me closer to the realization that the only monsters in the world are pathetic old men trying to steal as much money as they can. Zoinks, man. Wow, Shaggy a hippie as the punchline of a joke in the 60s really backfired, didn't it? I hate how Tumblr, a username like Lisa486, is almost certainly a porn bot, while someone named uh, Solid Snake's Booty Cheeks is almost certainly a real person. I could be a porn bot if I wanted to. Ooh. Hmm, I might get it. And we could be friends in it? Yeah, we can be friends. You can come to my island. That sounds nice. This exchange between me and my sister about Animal Crossing reads like two comrades bleeding out on the battlefield. Hmm, I might get it. And we could be friends in it? Hmm. Yeah, we can be friends. You can come to my island. That sounds nice. <laughs> I'll really enjoy that. I'll miss you there, bud. I literally cannot stop thinking about this post. Why am I crying? What is wrong with me? Stop crying, Cooker. The zombie outbreak started two years ago. Now you find yourself concerned by a decaying zombie. When you do the unthinkable and bite it first, when it falls to the floor and grows its skin back and sits up and asks, what is going on? This may be the best subversive idea for zombie apocalypse stories I think I've ever seen. How the frick did you not... Did you know that worked? I didn't, dude. I just freaking panicked. People are always like, no game is perfect. You can't please everybody. But when was the last time you heard a mother fricker complain about Portal? It should have contained more portals. I was disappointed by the number of portals. Z, bud, I hate to break this to you, but you as the player are always in direct control of the amount of portals. What? RIP, RIP, RIP. I can never interact with my neighbor again, holy frick. I was outside with my cat just now and he went behind a shrub for a bit. And me not realizing my neighbor was on the other side of the same shrub, poked my head round and said way louder than messy, my scrumptious darling boy, whatever are you doing over there? <laughs> and this 40-something man I very rarely speak to handled it with remarkable grace and very tentatively responding, watering my roses. <laughs> you? And I ran inside and jumped off a cliff. How the frick does YouTube mine all this data to micro-target ads at me and yet it continues to pour unwatchable sludge into my actual recommendations? Fun fact, YouTube just pours whatever they will knows will make them the most money into your recommendations. That's why some people pop off and some never do. YouTube's all run by a conspiracy. The Illuminati, what am I even talking about? Watching commercials for the first time in a while and I am laughing at the little film before COVID disclaimers at the bottom for the one showing parties and bars and social gatherings. Seen at social gathering. Do not attempt, my friend. Six feet apart and mask. A cute girl told me she has lots of plants in her house and I told her for some freaking reason, damn, the oxygen at your place must be mad crisp. And somehow still got her number, so chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. See, I can't date her, because then one, I'm a loser, two, I touch her plants and they would die. I feel like people who hate bagpipes kind of miss the whole point of them. They're not dainty instruments. They're not here to make you tap your fingers on tabletops. They're here to smash right into your chest and make you face every emotion you've repressed this century. Biggest freaking mood. They're also meant for hilltops, not small rooms. Can't get the right reverb with all that echo. 
That's true there. A woman is stunned when her new driver's license came back with a picture of an empty chair. Interesting way to discover that you're a vampire. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Smile for the camera. Ha <laughs> ha. One of the weirder things about being an adult is having a favorite stovetop burner, yet nobody talks about it. Bottom left. We'll hurry and catch him before he gets too far away. Ho ho! Uh, this describes me totally, yep. Sorry, mom and dad. In my house, elbows on the table are mandatory. You can do whatever you want at your house, but as long as you're under my roof, you will wear your hat to the dinner table, grandpa. Mothers are frickers of the jury. Do you know how often I think about this post? I'm in law school. This post is going to ruin my life. Reblog to ruin a law student's life. And done. Going through customs at a US airport. Airport snap, sir, do you have anything to declare today? Starts winning. Uh, no. <laughs> Trips and falls, hundreds of kinder surprise eggs rolled out of my pockets, jacket and briefcase. Get on the ground now, sir. But I am. Armed guards swarm around and pin me. Armed guards. What's in the eggs? I don't know. It's a surprise. This only makes sense a few years ago because these were illegal in the United States. Season 1. Donna do be do ba do be do be do bat agent P. Season 4. Oh, hey there, parent of I can't do different schmoots. D doofin schmerz. My god, I can't speak today. Honestly, my dream is not to be famous myself, but to be married to a famous person purely so I could go to events full of other famous people and pretend I've never heard of any of them. I would love to watch the look on Leonardo DiCaprio's face as I ask him what he does for a living, and when he incredulously tells me he's an actor, take a sip of my drink and ask, and how's that working out for you? Yeah, I'm an actor and people do that to me and it hurts. But I'm not famous, but you check out this movie Camp Twilight I'm in, just coming out now to streaming. Mm-hmm, check it out, check it out real quick, yep. Here's a hot take. Gift wrap is dumb. 90% of the time you can just hand someone the thing and accomplish the same task. Society has conditioned us to love wrapping crap up for no reason. Probably by gift wrap industry people. Counterpoint. Monkey Instinct says uncovering secret bounty from colorful shell, good as frick. <laughs> that it is. From my mom's old photos. Glad to know people have been making the same jokes for decades. Ha! That kind of looks like Richard Nixon. Today I learned that there are three types of fun. Type 1 fun is enjoyable while it's happening. Type 2 fun is uh, miserable while it's happening, but fun in retrospect. Type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even in retrospect. How the frick is activity that's no fun during or after they consider the type of fun? You know how a lot of people play a game called League of Legends? Yeah, yeah, that right there. Today I learned the first ever speeding ticket was issued to Walter Arnold on the 28th of January 1896 in Kent, England. He was blitzing through the town at 8 miles per hour, four times the legal speed limit, was chased for five miles by a police officer on a bicycle, and was fined one shilling when he was finally caught. Glad they caught that sick son of a snitch. He could have hurt someone running 8 miles per hour for Christ's sake. What if people got a new name every birthday? What if the name represented how old you were like every 11 year old was named Josh? I had my first kiss when I was Greg. This wasn't supposed to get notes, but it did. What's a gender neutral word you could use for your spouse? Wasband? Hife? Wife's band? I may be stupid. Having a post like this blow up really makes me feel like a lowly jester who, having made a suitably funny, has created an uproar in the royal hall, with the diplomats and aristocrats belly laughing demanding more, more, as they throw firecrackers at my feet and I can't do it so they kill me. So my neighbors are hosting some sort of charity event thing and they've got a live brand going on and they're pretty good. So when they finish the song I yell at, whoa! And then I just hear, is that a neighbor? Over the microphone. You're really good, I say because, well, what else do I say when I'm yelling over four acres of bushland during the night? Then I just got a really awkward reply of, uh, thank you? And now I'm just sitting outside in the cold listening when the last song comes up and this one is dedicated to the random neighbor that is hopefully still listening to this for free. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Yeah, and what of it? My hands are full of my booty is bad. You freaking wish you were me. Uh-huh, you're damn right. Coog, the narrator's got some cake, boy. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that has somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages and I'll never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted this new school is scary. I hope I make friends and not a graphic description of a squid dying. Well, uh, that's just the risk you take if you decide to teach creative writing. That's true. In 1930s, Helen Aleda Shelby presented an apparatus for attaining criminal confessions. 
The police put the suspect into a darkened chamber where they are confronted by a human skeleton with glowing red eyes that questions them with a voice transmitted from the interrogator behind it through a megaphone in its mouth. A camera concealed in the skull was to record the confessions. What? Confess your sins to the crime skeleton. Come on, bud, just do it. Just do it. I'm asking real nicely, even though I'm spooky and scary. My toddler said I was his second favorite person, and I was bummed out, but then he said that his mom is third. He has no favorite person. He's holding the position open. Power move by the child. A good one. We're ruining the planet. I'm sorry, who is the we? I don't recall myself running a billion dollar oil business. Sometimes I use the Keurig and I feel bad, but then I just remember just a hundred companies responsible for 70%. 1% of the global emissions. Yeah, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die one day. And it's thanks to the greed. This teeny Jin Urso went to Star Wars Celebration and handed out copies of the Death Star plans to every Leia she saw. You left out the best part. She left the last one at Carrie Fisher's mom. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. That really hurt. Oh my God. So I was talking to a buddy in psychology and then this kid came in who looked exactly like him and gave him a book he'd forgotten at home. And I went, holy crap, do you have a twin? And he was like, yeah, his name is Jason. And I was like, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I thought your name was Jason. Long story short, I have one of them in my math class and the other in my psychology class, and I've developed a friendship with both of them, but I thought they were both the same person this entire time. Remember this post? Not Jason is refusing to tell me his name and everyone's keeping it from me, so I'm just calling him Not Jason. That's perfect. Chugs the bean juice. Hot, hot, wakey water. Thanks for giving me a stroke first thing opening Tumblr. Me too. Oh wait, I think the bean water is melting me. <laughs> a good romance starts with a good friendship. Uh, times five. A bad romance starts with ra ra uh, uh, <laughs> Roma. <laughs> Crystals for banishing someone. Any of them, if you throw them hard enough. This here's my banishing rock. Here we can see that Florida is actually a poorly written artificial data matrix as evidenced by this poorly rendered police vehicle clipping through the environment due to simulation processor loads being too high during the rainy season. Bethesda programmed Florida. Is it a bug or a feature? Yes. To assure those with allergies to nuts, the company began adding the slogan, no nuts, 100% coffee to its packaging in the 2000s. I can't figure out why no one will buy from my pillow company. These are absolutely brimming with spider eggs. I think crying emoji are stupid. I don't feel this or this or this. I feel these. Yeah, yeah. How to get Fahrenheit temps. Think of it as a percentage of heat. 40% hot? Eh, kind of on the chilly side. 75% hot? That's pretty warm now. 20% hot? That's actually not warm at all. 110% hot? We're dying. It all makes sense now. Fun fact, the Fahrenheit scale is used in temperature according to how it feels to a human, so looking at it in percents is actually what you should do. Now can I get a cheat sheet for Celsius? Ask water how hot it feels. Semi-annual skull check, do you still have yours? Yeah man, I got it right here. Ah, sh uh -huh. oh, where is it? If you find bones in the forest, sit a bit and listen. They are old and have some good stories to tell. Maybe they'll teach you a spell or two, or explain where the water on our planet came from. If you find bones by the ocean, run. Run. Don't look back. Run. Faster. Faster. The sea may love you, but there are nights where she knows neither mercy nor science, and the bones warn you only once. Boy, if you find bones, call the police. I hate this website so much. This is a piece of creative writing, in case you couldn't tell from the fact that real bones don't usually go, hey little mama, let me whisper bony secrets in your ear, or warn you of the incoming tides like a calcified weather fog. PSA, if an English person says anything about tea, or having tea, or having someone round for tea, it does not mean they will literally be drinking tea. Tea means dinner. We mean we are having dinner. Are you serious? Yes. So then, how do you invite someone for tea with tea and scones and jam and stuff? That kind of tea. How are you supposed to phrase that? Do you want to come over for a cuppa? Someone finally did it. Saw a black and white horse on my way to school today, forgot the word cow, and instead shouted, Moo breed. <laughs> Puts my cigarettes out on you. Quickly smokes it all before you can reach me. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Rolls up my sleeves. Why, I oughta. Quickly rolls your sleeves back down before you can hit me. I said to my little sister, gods don't die, and my brother ran up to me and whispered in my ear, some do, like he knew for sure. He's six. I'm so fucking uh frightened for my life. Update, I put him to bed and said goodnight, and he replied, it won't last, and I'm fully convinced he holds far more power than any other human being. 
Putting candy cane pieces in cookies is a bad idea. Did you see them going off to fight? Children of the barricade who didn't last the night. In 2020, it's going to be 420 for a whole month. Hell yeah, mother- <laughs> Touches the ground. This. A relic. A relic of a more hopeful time. Looks like the Wiggles original lineup is planning an 18 plus pub tour. Can't wait to get uh. fucking smashed while Hot Potato plays in the background. Catch me in the pit during fruit salad. I could fix him. I could make him worse. Well, I could make him. Hi, Victor Frankenstein here. I follow the leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but photos rule of state or national parks. Yeah, because conversation. But also because when I was 11, I read a short story about a girl who went to a museum and stole a bandage flake off a mummy on display with the mentality of, I'm just one person, one one piece won't be missed. Then at night she was visited by the mummy and it plucked a single hair from her head and then the next night a different mummy took another hair and she realized that there were only so many pieces to her before there could be nothing left. And that story was forever wedged in my brain. Anyways, leave cool rocks where you find them or the mummies will get you. This is the lucky clover cat. Reblog this in 30 seconds and he will bring you good luck and fortune. This one. This is the one that works. I reblogged him the day I started treatment and one, got to my appointment on time, two, found a free parking ticket somewhere left in the meter for me, and three, got free Starbucks after my appointment. I'm convinced, because I reblogged this on Friday, got hired at a job I had a million interviews for, went on a first date that went well, and got kissed a billion times, so like, hell yeah to the luck cat. There was a really big cowboy looking dude in the coffee shop, and after a while I realized he seemed to be staring at me, and I was getting uncomfortable until he suddenly startled and came over to say, I'm so sorry ma'am, I wasn't trying to stare at you, there is a huge bird behind you. And lo and behold, right outside the window, there was an absolute absolute unit of a crow. People are always like, I have face blindness, but I'm good with names, or I'm terrible with names, but I never forget a face. Well, baby, I don't know how to tell you this, but I am bad at both. Yesterday, I didn't recognize my coworker because he was wearing a purple shirt, and I'm used to him wearing all black. Hashtag OP is a horse. There are two types of uncle. One, kinda goofy. Two, literally the worst human being you've ever had the displeasure of meeting. Common misconceptions surrounding the care of monsters. Contrary to popular belief, it is not normal for a Cerberus' heads to fight with one another. This indicates anxiety or lack of proper enrichment. Giant spiders are actually very social creatures and should not be housed alone. Provide your sphinx with enrichment by answering its riddles. Those sphinxes can be trained to attack those who answer incorrectly. They actually normally speak in riddles as a form of social play that is essential to their development and well-being. Casting a spell. What kind of spell? Whatever you want. Wow, so much potential. I think I will cast a spell of having a nice time. Haha, <laughs> nice spell you two have got going on here. Mind if I add a little something? Dear God, what are you going to do? My cats have very different communication styles when they urgently want something. One of them stares and the other one yells and if staring isn't having the desired results, the staring cat will go and fetch the yelling cat to yell on her behalf. Hey, is the K word allowed on this website? I forget. I will kill Gacha Gaming. Still can't get over that person on TikTok saying that Stardew Valley was not a good game because you need to use the wiki, and then said her reasoning was that she didn't know the axe was used for chopping trees for 10 hours. I want to see this person play Dwarf Fortress. What I wouldn't give to have the gastric constitution of a nine-year-old again. Like, you know when you're in grade school and you're like, okay, I'm gonna have some gushers and pizza, and one of those dubious chalky grocery store cookies, and then go around with my friends. And now as an adult, if I eat the wrong brand of peanut butter, I have to lie down for an hour. Seeing people in notes who are like, it's a good thing I can still eat whatever I want, and they're like, 19. I was you once, and in a couple years you might start to suspect that your favorite fast food joint is giving you mild food poisoning every time you eat there. They're not, it's the milkshakes. Go buy some lactase pills. I can draw anything, and so can you. By golly, you're right. Pirates of the Cambrian. Ah, I see. Birthday cards for adult men are just, you are old and it's funny. Drink alcohol. Blatant sexism. Boomer comic. I'm the better sibling. Watch the sports. Sex. You are old and therefore bad at sex and it's funny. Blatant sexism related to sex. Blue tinted illustrations of vaguely male pastimes. This game is so pretty I'm crying. Oh, yeah, Link just shot Zelda, what the hell? You know, back in my day, if a pestilence swept through the land during a time of famine and flood, it meant that the reigning kings had displeased the gods and that we risked the gods' further ire by obeying them. Then you took the king out, chopped his head off, and threw him into a bog to appease the angry gods. My hotel has a sitting area with no possible way to access it. Use whirlwind sprint, climb on the desk and double jump from there. Uh and triangle jump, you're just not thinking with portals. Just go outside and punch the ground a couple times. Go back inside and build a noob tower up to the sitting area. It can't be higher than three or four blocks. Unlock that sitting area with a special $15 sitting area DLC. I want to f*** and die. 
Hashtag, pss, what is a salmon? Hashtag, I know there's a joke here somewhere, but I don't understand it. Hashtag, so I'm choosing to interpret this as the person saying that and then getting electrocuted and forgetting what a salmon is. Don't feel bad if you're sensitive to negative feedback because apparently after one particular bad review, Hans Christian Andersen was found just sobbing while laying face down in the dirt. Dishwashing affirmations. The dishes are more scared of you than you are of them. If you put on a little song, you can have a dishwashing party. Washing dishes is a great way to make new friends. Example, frying pan cups, etc. Despite any misinformation you may see online, a fork has never bitten anyone. They are gentle, even-tempered creatures that often just want to nap. Since everyone is reposting it, might as well just post it myself here. This was a commission, believe it or not, someone paid me to draw this. OP, I'd have paid for this. Sabrina blowing the mind of her alakazam while carrying pepperoni pizza with her mind is dope. Hey, that's not a giraffe. Lionesses are known for their cunning hunting tactics. Oh no, this is terrible. I was gonna sign my paycheck. Squidward kept this sh uh real. The tasseled wabagong is a species of carpet shark in the family Erecto... Uh, Erectolobidae, and the only member of its genius. Incredible how like every other week I learn about a new sea creature I did not know existed, and there's a lot more we don't know about. Japan's killing stone, said to contain a chaotic demon for 1,000 years, splits in half. Oh. Bye, y'all. I'm off to my wedding. Extremely hot soup daring you to eat it. Generated by OpenAI's Dolly 2. Sharing is caring. <laughs> this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. If cats aren't meant to be kissed on their heads, then what's that little space between their ears for? Hashtag certainly not their brain. Me and my pirate girlfriend. Holding hands. Me. BB, your hands are so cold. Her. That me hook. Everyone shut up and look at this carving of a whale from the 12 to 600 CE Chumas culture. But who's the most sexual mother... Uh. on land. Me. Prove it. My wife said so, and that's enough proof. Oh no! My ribcage split open, revealing a grotesque vertical maw, slavering and bleeding with uneven rows of jagged and splintered ribs for teeth. And promise tomorrow! I can't wait to get a live-action movie where Disney delves into the backstory of Gaston and realize that his mom got crushed by a bookshelf to explain why he hates educated women that read. Hashtag they really had Cruella's mom get pushed off a cliff by Dalmatians. Hashtag Cruella. Hashtag Disney. Hashtag movies. Hashtag Gaston. Hashtag Beauty and the Beast. Hashtag Cruella DeVille. Hashtag Hollywood. Today I learned the wiki disambiguation page for William Smith doesn't have a link for the Will Smith you're thinking of, but it does have a link for Will Smith Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, named after and portrayed by Will Smith, and it turns out this is because Will Smith, the Fresh Prince's full name is William Smith, but Will Smith's full name is in fact Willard Smith. Everyone following along at home? Divorce court. You are no longer married to each other. Ah, but Jesus, you are still married to each other. Owned. Lifeguard Jesus disagrees with the law. Lifeguard Jesus is found in contempt of court and sentenced to jail. Windmills and lighthouses are cousins. Towers with jobs. Bro, I am on my way. Sorry for calling you bro. You are my girlfriend and I love you. I love you too, brah. I went ages ago, dude. So it was more than an hour ago. Sorry for calling you dude. I meant to say my love or something. 18 pathetic men in your area with the wettest, saddest eyes you've ever seen want to talk about the worst music you've ever heard with you. Hashtag ads I would literally click on Walla. Hashtag on purpose. Hashtag archive. Dead men tell no tales? Wrong, your honor. As a necromancer, I literally summon my first witness, the victim. I uh. fucking love Irish slang, like it's the most creative craft ever. Today I heard a coffin being referred to as a wooden onesie in the sentence, Ah, Jesus, my nanny looks better than ye and she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. And it was honestly life-changing. Ever see a post on social media and think, about to have an anxiety attack? House? Moon? Oh no, house? Garage? Uh, building? Warehouse? What is this even- Oh, f*** uh. you, is this loss? Me entering any museum. Man, I'm so excited to learn all the things. Also me. Gift shop, gift shop, gift shop. There are two dragons inside of you. One hoards knowledge and the other hoards trinkets. They're both very excited when you bring them to a museum. In The Departed, Matt Damon and Mark Wahlberg play two different characters, a subtle nod to them being two different actors, despite my wife being unable to tell them apart in the first viewing of the movie. OP, this is the funniest post you've made yet. It's the funniest because Mark Wahlberg isn't in that photo. The neurodivergent urge to do this. Hashtag I wanna go, I wanna go. I want to go hashtag I'm uh. nuts. I'm insane. I'm crazy. Hashtag I'm an animal trapped in a cage. I'm shaking the bars. Hashtag oh my god, I need to sleep. Hashtag uh. host. Hashtag oxytoxy. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Uh. Uh -huh. You're next. Run. I haven't been able to get the full video, but we just celebrated one of our steam locomotives turning 145 by chucking a chocolate cake into her firebox. That's uh. up. I, I wanted a piece. 
The Necrons are objectively the funniest faction. They really want people to get off their lawn, and if everyone just agreed, they could probably kill everyone in the galaxy. But instead, they just fight on their own because everyone in charge is fucking insane, and everyone else is either worse or can't do shit about it. Also, there's a dude who doesn't care about any of this and just wants to collect things as a hobby. Deploy the boy! Boy deployed. And he's cute as heck. European comics. Well, there's two guys who have been friends for 20 years. One of them writes the scripts and the other makes the art. American comics. The publisher wants wants us to crank out a new chapter every month, so we have one dude who writes it, another one plans the page layout and sketches, a third person inks the page and fourth one colors it, and the fifth one is on the payroll just to fight the publisher about the requested edits and corrections. Japanese comics. The publisher wants us to crank out a new chapter every month, so we have just this one dude doing the whole damn thing on his own in a teeny apartment, while slowly going insane. Exclamation marks, but instead of a huge line of them, we do them like Roman numerals of them. Yes, yes, Christ, you know, to save space and look dumb. I like how the uh, IX looks like a man on roller skates. <laughs> so, you're from the future? The year 2016. So, uh, the world's not gonna end in 2012? Ha! <laughs> well, you're gonna wish it did. I feel like this is gonna be one of those, uh, jomes that get funnier with age, like it's gonna be just as relevant in 2020 as it is now. 2020. Ha! <laughs> yep. Goth. Out of every pun and play on words I've seen on this site, this is the one that makes me so unreasonably angry. It's a goth. Look at him. That's so gath of him. Julius Caesar's assassination was the last time everyone in a group project did their part. Ah, apart from the fact that 60 people agreed to stab him, and he only had 23 stab wounds. I mean, yeah, they, uh, people were slacking. The only acceptable birthday cake. So when you blow out the candle, you'd be killing that Charmander. Happy birthday, you sick frick. One of my favorite visual gags is drawing a passive bubbly character with cartoony style eyes, but changing their eyes to be realistic whenever someone annoys them. My favorite example. Mm, Peppa Pig will murder you. Bobby in the newest movie looks like if Elsa from Frozen was in Mass Effect. Don't ask me why I know this. I thought this was a Constable Frozen edit. Apparently the plot for this movie is that all the stars are dying and Barbie needs to find a way to stop the universe scumbagging. <laughs> succumbing. It's succumbing. <laughs> Succumbing to a cold, dark end, which is honestly more terrifying than a lot of actual sci-fi. Barbie and the heat death of the universe coming to sci-fi soon. Post this hamster. Where to, boss? Hamster damn. Good one. Okay, but in all honesty, silence or you will be held in contempt of this court. I have nothing but contempt for the court. Has got to be the greatest exchange of word in human history, and it came from the 1986 Transformers movie. OP, I hope you don't mind me adding, but you who are without mercy now plead for it is also absolutely freaking metal and also comes from the 1986 Transformers movie. Ah, Transformers, robots in disguise. Or should I say change greatness in disguise? I don't know. Manga lied to me. I have never seen bad boy types protecting stray kitties, therefore revealing to me their soft side. It's always me picking up the cats. Maybe I'm the bad boy. Oh, I'm the bad boy, baby. <laughs> why is there a pentagram on the floor? Okay, first of all, mom, it's not a pentagram. And second, what were you doing in my apartment? Oh crap, I summoned my mom. A penta, a penta, <laughs> a parent to cram. <laughs> Hashtag congrats on doing what Ed and AI could not. Yeah, or is it Ed and Al? I don't know. Radiation is insane. There are rocks out there that will pull the seams of your organs apart if you stand too close to them. Hashtag, some rocks really do have auras. Hashtag, unfortunately, the aura is eat crap and die energy. As the Earth should do to humanity, after all. The Morning Dew perfectly captured my dog's erratic freedom run. Photo by Bobo Allah. Attack. Noom. Look at him go. Yes, indeed. Look at him go. If Marx was real, what would his Tumblr URL be? If Marx was real. Ah yes, the eternal game of Kirby fan or <laughs> deluded communist. <laughs> I was like, wait, Marx is real. I was like, oh yeah, it's a Kirby. Oh. oh, that's great. This made me so freaking angry, I have to inflict it on all of you. What's the punchline here? Wait. <laughs> is he, you know, oh, my baby, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> My brain feels like it's on fire and my stomach hurts because I can't stop laughing every time I see these two tweets. They're fantastic. I love the internet. I love punk because if you don't like a song, just wait, it'll be over in like 90 seconds. Don't worry about it. And I love metal because if you do like a song, good news, buddy, there's still 11 more minutes to go. 
Fire through the flames, anybody? Dragon Force, greatest rock band of all time. Or is it metal? I call them metal rock. My GF's work told her she can't draw cats on people's to-go boxes anymore, and I think I'm more pissed about it than her. Like, WTF, let her have fun. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Enjoy your lunch, meow meow. Thank you for everyone supporting my cat drawing. They look like this, by the way. Look how freaking delightful this is! How freaking dare they make you stop her? Unbelievable! Where do you work? We're boycotting it. I'm going to start a false crime podcast where I explain crimes that never actually happened. I'm going to do the crimes you explain, forcing you into having a true crime podcast. Oh, you mad lad indeed. I read that <coughs> makes your mouth feel like it's burning because it increases your nerve sensitivity to heat, and menthol works by doing the same thing to cold. So if I eat a habanero pepper and then chew a bunch of breath mints, they'll uh, cancel each other out and I'll be fine. Hey, guess what hellfire tastes like? Fun fact, the nerve endings to ouch, too hot, and ouch, too cold are different, which means that they both can be activated at once without canceling out. RIP original poster. I totally, I totally know what that C word is. I, did, I just coughed, man. I totally said it. Childhood is when you idolize Batman. Adulthood is when you realize that the Joker makes more sense. This is the most Reddit thing I've read all day. I thought adulthood was feeling bad for all the stupid bullcrap Commissioner Gordon had to put up with. Childhood is idolizing Batman. Adolescence is thinking the Joker is right. Adulthood is realizing that Gordon absolutely doesn't get paid enough for this. Leave that city, Gordon! My god, no other city makes you deal with crazy painted face people except for Florida. I'm actually glad we don't live in an RPG world. We really take for granted being able to coexist with most animals. I don't want to have to pull out a longsword and beat the crap out of six crabs, two snails, while a starfish snipes me with magic bullets every time I go to the beach. That's what I really like. Everyone's like, I want to live in Dragon Ball. I want to live in Pokemon. I'm like, dude, no, you're not going to be like a Saiyan. You're going to be the human that gets eaten by Cell, and you're not going to be a Pokemon master. That's like being a successful actor. It's like one out of every, like, million people people, bro. Hmm, what if tattoos just randomly appeared on our skin at key points in our lives and we have to figure out what they meant for ourselves? That's actually a really cool story prompt. Somebody write this, oh my god. I'd read the freak out of that book. My little pony, the thing you are wanting is my little pony. And it's called a cutie mark. No, I didn't be a voice actor in the MLP Phantom. What are you talking about? Ha 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 ha. Hands down, the funniest thing I've ever heard at college was overhearing the following sentence at a conference. I asked him what his pronouns were, and he said, uh, PhD. You will refer to me as doctor, and as doctor alone. What if there was a show where every character was gay and you had the token straight guy character who acted really stereotypical and was into, uh, cars, beers, and women, and everyone was like, oh, straight Lally, you're so funny and straight. Oh, there he is. This is the handbook each actor who plays Aladdin at Disney World is given. Although we want every Disney guest to have fun, our number one priority is safety. Because of this, Aladdin will never, under any circumstances, kill a park guest. Unless it is absolutely necessary to save the lives of a greater number of park guests. This is referred to as the Aladdin's exception. Sir, we have a person taken hostage in Frontierland. <laughs> Beep. Send in the street rat. Murder. <laughs> as someone who was a costume character at Disneyland, it's weird. It's really weird. Don't ask me about the underwear. I've probably said this before, but I love the Twilight Zone episode with no quantifiable motto at the end. They just wrap up like, wouldn't it be freaked if this happened? Everyone's saying Black Mirror, no. The whole point of Black Mirror is that it's rife with unwanted morals. No, I don't want to be told how technology is making us distance and how helicopter parenting makes kids hate you. I want, what if astronauts found their own dead bodies on a random planet and had a breakdown for a full episode, then realize they're dead for real and then forget to it all again forever. Wouldn't that be freaked? I'm Rod Sterling. And this has been the Twilight Zone. In the old days of feudal Japan, a samurai warrior would shout, You are trying to view Flash content, but you have no Flash plugin installed. Hmm, truly, truly ahead of their time. People on Twitter are always like, There's still people on Tumblr? As if Twitter wasn't full of stolen text posts, gifts, and art originally posted here. They think they're doing an archaeological dig, but really they're just walking into our house, picking up random stuff and saying, Wow! What a beautiful post. Shame that the people who made it died a long time ago while we stare at them from our dinner tables. Hashtag Twitter is the British Museum. 
me. Has absolutely no idea what size an acre is in real people language. 1% the size of the wood where Winnie the Pooh lives. Next question. I remember when I was little, I asked my grandma and she said about the size of a parking lot. And I just accepted that until about five years ago when I remembered this and was like, wait, parking lots come in different sizes. That snitch really didn't know either. I used to thought, think they were the size of an anchor, like a ship's anchor, because I'm an idiot. Treat spiders the way you want to be treated. Killed, without hesitation. I'm serious, do it. You ever see me in real life? The guy with the two different colored eyes? Do it, I dare you. I don't intend to die anytime soon, but just in case, here's my will. All my money goes to the dude at my funeral who tells the best story about me, as voted by other funeral attendees. Any genre is acceptable, but paranormal erotica is highly encouraged. The runner-up gets my corpse. Oh man, it is so hard to deliberately win second place. My friend, no it's not. I just saw a picture saying, do or die, and it literally translates to die or die. Hashtag, do you want to die in Danish or English? Hamlet sweats nervously. TikTok users are like, if someone says hello to you, they're engaging in psychopathic manipulative behavior psychologists called nice bombing, and it's basically attempting murder, also human trafficking. Hashtag, one time I talked about the weather to someone I didn't know that well. Hashtag, later that night, I checked their Twitter and they were vaguing about me being ab ableist because I forced them to do small talk. Help! Nah, man, just delete TikTok. That's how you help. Just tried to draw Among Us crucifixion, but I realized halfway through that the crewmate doesn't have arms and thus can't be nailed to a cross so my solution to this was just to draw the thing duct tape onto there like a cheapskate broken car part. Alright, good for you Jesus sus boy. I hope I don't have to fight my evil shadow self today. Hey! No freaking way! Right to repair doesn't go deep enough. If you can't hack, modify, reprogram, or otherwise alter the function of your device, you don't own it. Demand and assert a right to the face. You buy it, you break it. Why are these scientists talking about Pluto when they should be curing Ebola? Because they're astrophysicists, not molecular engineers or infectious disease specialists. You're getting mad at the wrong people. Walks into Starbucks and violently shakes the barista. Look! Where the frick am I supposed to get a new bed frame then? Ah. <laughs> uh. Mm, I'm begging them to call it literally anything else. You were my sister, Womanika. I loved you, <laughs> Womanika. <laughs> if Batman and Spider-Man switch rogues galleries, none of their villains will last more than 10 minutes against the new anime. Batman takes down all Spider-Man's villains with ruthless efficiency and preparation. Batman's villains are like, Take me seriously, damn it! And Spider-Man is like, no. The Joker would have an intense hatred for Spider-Man because Spider-Man is actually funny. That was the exact thought process behind the post. In Gotham, riddle me this. I like knock-knock jokes better in New York. Green Goblin is getting his butt beat by 12 orphans in spandex. <laughs> I hate this. Fantasy video game locations include the ocean, the mushroom forest, the misty moors, the mystical machine land, and ancient Egypt. Sci-fi video game locations include the dilapidated city overrun with alien fungi, tentacle forest, OSHA violation buildings, spaceship quarter labyrinth, giant nest of alien eggs, desert planet with worms, and ancient Egypt for some reason. Ah! When kitties are just so baby, they don't even look like kitty yet. They look like this. Look at this with your eyes, if you agree. I agree. I really do. How to start this course. Insert favorite character is a Harry Potter house. Sonic is a power bottom. I don't think that sentence starts discourse so much as ends any controversy it even starts. Sonic is a power bottom! It's just what I'm gonna say next time I'm having an argument. In the movie Venom, during the first human trials of the symbiote, the research team is happy with the patient's vitals are holding steady. This is a reference to the production team not consulting a single medical profession to find out what good vital signs look like. <laughs> uh, yes, a pulse of 136 and an oxygen saturation of 81%. The ideal levels. Yes, nothing to be concerned about there. Perfectly normal. They said they were holding steady, not that they were holding healthy. Patient's vitals are steady. Doctor, they're dead. And maintaining that state quite well. What language do they speak at the center of the Earth? Korean. The center of the Earth is around 5430 degrees Celsius. Nobody is going to live there, so they don't need a language. Korean. <laughs> do you ever sabotage your own free time? Like, what the F is that about? I want to play this game or read or do something specific, but instead I will just stare out the window and scroll mindlessly. My cat just squashed himself in the funniest position I've ever seen, but I couldn't get my phone to take a pic without moving him, so I drew it. Meow. 
There is no gay people music. We aren't a monolith and we all have different tastes, except for the Rasputin song. The eradication of Adobe Flash dress up games directly led to the creation of NFTs. Sure, I'll incorporate that into my worldview. Okie dokie. The real innovation of Musk car tunnels is that it's so tight you can't open the doors. You can't pass anyone and there's no way for an ambulance or fire engine to get in. He has created an LED lit celebrity death tube. Great stuff, IMO. Are we sure that this isn't just a wall painted by Wile E. Coyote? Me me. Now that you mention it, it does look very flat. Me me. When you are done with a tab, you can close it. Every browser in the world has a feature that lets you open recently closed tabs. Also, there is browsing history. Need to visit a web page often? May I introduce you to the bookmarks feature? There's no reason to leave your tabs open. Hoarder behavior. OP, I'm hitting you with a shovel and that's it. Hello, mail writer. Before you is a typewriter. You have one day to write a novella with a woman as the protagonist without describing her breasts. The timer begins now. Her butt was like a peach, and brother, I'm in her pit. <laughs> well, that one's on me. Having sex? Partner, how does that feel? Me, uh, checking my mood ring. Uh, normal slash cool, I guess? If I was the Joker, I'd just get a restraining order on Batman and Superman. Where are they gonna do? Break the law? When they're no better than me, a cold-blooded murderer, and this would 100% work because superhero movies have the crappiest takes on ethics since freaking can't. What? I, I, I can't English that well. Hey y'all, do you want to see a dragon that I drew? Of course you do, here it is. Suggestion, give Robert a friend. This is Mr. Wiggles. Suggestion, Robert needs a girlfriend slash boyfriend. Is Mr. Wiggles his boyfriend? This is Robert's significant other, Gertrude. Mr. Wiggles is just a friend. Wow. <laughs> Gertrude's beautiful. So is Robert, though, and Mr. Wiggles. So I had to return a book to the library today, and I came straight from the horse farm. I went to the front desk because it was an item on loan from another library, and I wasn't sure if I had to be checked in differently. The librarian said it could get returned in the normal slot, but she could take it and check it out right away. It was only when I got back to the car that I realized I had walked into the library covered in dirt from head to toe and handed back a book about grave robbing. I guarantee you that was the highlight of their day and their entire career. They're literally just selling squares of colors as NFTs now. Anish Kapoor strikes again. Remember when DeviantArt users said they owned a specific shade of color because it belonged to their Sonic recolor, OC? Ah, yes. Ah, that's what NFT bros are. Sonic fans. Attention, surprise, fear, drowsiness, weariness, anger. For a second I thought this was a meme and not an informative illustration of horse mood, and I thought I just couldn't get the joke. So did I, my friends, except I grew up on a horse farm, so I knew right away. I literally had this same illustration on a poster. I kid you not. Being friends with crust punks is wild. I knew a guy who got a tattoo of a train on his leg, and then the next day week, he lost his legs train hopping. When I was like 16, I was on the roof of a house during a potty, and the cops rolled up. I stayed put figuring the cops weren't gonna look at the freaking roof, and I watched this same guy roll out in his wheelchair and slash the cop tires. I don't know what a crust punk is, but I want one as a friend. If you give a man a fish, he will eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. But you have done neither. You have stood before us and eaten fish after fish and chided us for our greed as you have done so. You have cast aside their offal and simultaneously chided us for our waste. You then told us that, coincidentally, you owned the river and our parents should have gotten us the same if we wanted fish. You gave a man a fish to murder us if we step too close to the river or speak too loud or eat a fish from another river. You've copyrighted the fishing net. It costs us fish to leave. Oh, ho, ho, this thing looks interesting. I will go and have a look. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Get splash banged. Today I learned Garfield's assassin, Charles Guto, was so hated that when he joined a Christian free love commune, no one would have sex with him. They started calling him Charles Get Out, a play on words for get out. Garfield's dead? The US president, hun. Garfield was the president? I only eat what I've hunted and gathered myself. My diet is mostly siphoned gas and cigarettes I found on wild cigarette bushes. 30 times the glass was not strong enough. Jesus Christ, is she a Terminator? Just wanna check, what's your pronouns? Think, he, ham. God gave us hands and we used them to strangle him. I got violent flashbacks from this image alone. Hank, oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Piano music intensifies. What a year this week has been. <laughs> That's how it feels every time. Plot twist. The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw and it doesn't need to be overcome. I forgot I said this, but I'm going to say it again. The Jewish Japanese Sex and Cookbook and How to Raise Wolves by Jack Douglas. A lot covered in one book. Where have you been, Jack Douglas? What kind of things have you seen? If image files could get pregnant, that'd be J-Preg. 
Don't Trust Me by 303 comes on and the feminism leaves my body for a full three minutes and 12 seconds. Hashtag fun fact, 16 year olds don't know this song and if you play it in a car full of 10 of them, they will hate it. Hashtag this is a song that is good because you already know it. It cannot be reintroduced, it was a mortifying three minutes. I don't know what any of this is about. <laughs> I don't know what little cat needs to hear this, but it is not dinner time. You are not going to starve, and it will be okay. That's our cat in this house. Don't worry, bro. It's not gay if the live slug doesn't look at us. <laughs> you don't look ace. Uh, what does an asexual person look like? I knew it. Biblical angels, but their true form looks like the patterns in 90s arcade cabinets. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. That's just microbiology, innit? obsessed with this answer. Why don't the people of Gotham just move? Because it's a massive East Coast city, but the property values are probably like $200 a month for a three bedroom apartment, and most Gothamites are like, hey, Bane never swore to break my back. And here's the thing, you're not just moving out of Gotham City, you're moving into the rest of the DC universe, and it has hero-based power scaling. Oh, Metropolis looks fucking great, but it gets invaded by aliens and robots and demigods because Superman is there. Wonder Woman's tangling with gods. You go to Central City, and some reverse flash motherfucker runs backwards from an alternate future and kicks your balls off at the speed of light. You could move to the west coast and oh, an entire city just gets exploded by cyborg superman or some shit. How about you move to Indianapolis or Cleveland? <laughs> no, they have no protector during the alien invasions and you're in Cleveland. So stay in Gotham. Sure, you have lunatics, but you know that if you have a gun, you at least have a chance against the Joker or Riddler. Mongo of War World would crush you, but Gotham just has creeps and you know you have a chance. Even even Bane, Ross Al Ghul, Killer Croc, and Mr. Freeze are just slightly altered dudes. Oh no, Poison Ivy is going to kiss me to death. Who gives a shit? You kinda wanted to go out that way anyway. There are super intelligent telepathic guerrilla warlords in Africa, and the Greek Titans are real and chained in the abyss. God damn, you know, the Marvel universe seems pretty bad because, uh, you know, islands are falling out of the sky sometimes, and also New York gets fucked all the time, but the DC universe just sounds... Nowhere is safe. What's the difference between a balancing act performer and a mountain climber? Well, one's a tightrope walker and the other is a tied rope rocker. Wish my life was like a 90s movie where all my friends work in record stores and bookshops and coffee shops and we see really cool bands in small little clubs and get breakfast together and like hang out on roofs and shit. What I thought my life would be like as a child. My favorite example of writers forgetting about show don't tell is when they have a character tell us, the audience, something that immediately gets contradicted by the visual medium. Like when a character says, I'm not all that attractive, while looking like a supermodel or a character says, I don't kill, to the main villain when they have slaughtered dozens of main villain's goons. My favorite example of this happening is in Fate Stay Night when Saber says, most men wouldn't find my body attractive due to her muscles, muscles which the artist forgot to give her. How the f is Nosferatu 100 years old? Hashtag Nosferatu, hashtag today's the anniversary of the German premiere, I think. I do not know what they're talking about. The government literally wanted to nuke New York and now they're the ones telling the Avengers that they've caused too much damage. I literally, hashtag well at least it's 100% in character with how a government would act. NYPD out here protecting the Wall Street bull. We deserve more elegant metaphors. Y'all remember that story in the Bible about Moses condemning the people idol worshiping a golden calf statue or like, nah. Dear Santa, why do all my toys say made in China? I guess even you can't abstain from the allure of cheap labor. Oink oink, you capitalist pig. Josh. I was drinking water and I just spit it out onto my screen. Holy sh**. Okay, putting a flower crown on serial killers harms absolutely nobody. When was the last time someone was actually injured by a serial killer? The 50s? Sorry if you think this is a trend, but putting a circlet of flowers on top of a real human being that drove a 5-inch steel knife into an innocent person's beating heart can be qualified as self-expression. Learn it. P.S. I play Reaper in Overwatch and talk like Solid Snake when I'm on the phone. I could hack the stock market if I needed to. Bye. I can't decide what my favorite line of this is. <laughs> The year is nine. Some other fucker be touching cow tits and oh boy, he's about to invent cereal. I beg your pardon? Beg. Why do they lose more actual pony resemblance with every generation? Those are not horses. 1800s pug. 2020s pug. The other day I answered the door to my postman. I was signing for stuff like you do when my kid came downstairs with only his underwear and a t-shirt on. 
Now, the postman couldn't see him from the front door, and I scribbled my signature and said to my son, you need to put some trousers on. My postman very slowly looked down at his trouser-clad legs with a mixture of confusion and horror, and then looked back up to me. When I explained I was talking to my little boy out of his line of sight, he gave a very solemn nod and said, I thought I'd put trousers on this morning, but suddenly when you said that, I really wasn't sure. Years after this, I still have the same postman. He still always wears trousers, but every time I enter the door, I'm pretty sure we both remember this incident. <laughs> That's great. I love when the gender options are male, female, and prefer not to answer. Like it just reads as boy, girl, and what are you, a cop? I don't owe you anything. May we ask whether you're a lady or a gentleman? A lady, a gentleman. My dear sir, there are individuals roaming the streets of fallen London at this very moment with the faces of squid. Squid! Do you ask them their gender? And yet you waste our time asking me trifling and impertinent questions about mine. It is my own business, sir, and I bid you good day. He is not my president, bumper sticker with a picture of some random guy that has never been president. Hey, bestie, come closer. I'm totally not gonna drag you into my obscure interest, bestie, I promise. Hashtag the cask of Amante Blorbo. Employer, offer PTO. Employee uses PTO. Employer, you can't do this to me. The Kusanagi Valentine Katsuragi KVK scale measures how well you are handling life as a badass purple haired single woman in a dystopian future. Really good. Could do better. A f***ing mess. If you ever find a genie and you're really craving a dessert that looks like this, do not say I'd like a lifetime supply of raspberry crowns. While this is, in fact, the name of the pastry, it's also the name of a species of wasp for some reason. The genie, being a nasty trickster, will no doubt give you a bunch of wasps. This is an oddly specific post. Are you okay? Look, maybe they had a dream and uh, they made the wrong choice and they're just informing us for whenever we meet a genie. Dude on Reddit. Hey, just so you know, even a clean, healthy, and freshly washed p does have a faint but distinct scent and taste to it. It won't taste like strawberry ice cream and you shouldn't embarrass yourself by freaking out about it. Another dude on Reddit immediately. F you. I once ate out a girl who literally smelled and tasted like rotting pus and I got an infection in my mouth. I almost died because of misinformation being spread around by virgins like you. The other day, a man signed up for our Advantage card, and I asked for his email, and he looked at me and goes, No, I have a Gmail. I don't even know what an email is. And I was just so in awe for a moment, and I just smiled and enthusiastically replied, It's okay, that works. Meanwhile, internally screaming. Honestly, if anyone wants to know what retail is like on a daily basis, this is it. I simply do not have the patience for that. Uh, I applaud you. Why does Robin look uniquely bad in this outfit specifically? Like, why? I don't know, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Purchased a Sans Undertale plush from my classroom and I've been torturing my students by pretending I don't know who he is. The look of pain on their faces when I tell them his name is Sam is worth every dollar I spent on him. As a kid, I never appreciated the comedic genius of my elementary school principal who, whenever our school won against another school in a sport, would play what felt like two minutes of We Are The Champions over the PA during announcements and just as it's going cause we are the champions of, he'd dead stop and his deadpan voice over the PA system would go, Brampton. <laughs> we had a middle school dance DJ who would do something similar with Party in the USA. He'd play the chorus like, yeah, 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 it's a party in the, and then stop the music and just say, school. <laughs> this is so f***ing funny. That would kill me. My dad and I were talking about the scientists that made milk from yeast and not from cows, and he said, let's call it yilk. Mm, nothing like a cold glass of yilk in the morning. Makes a Wilhelm scream when I come. <laughs> Do all sea explorations sound like the scientists are just on Discord? PhD group chat. You guys want to see the most accurate and blasphemous representation of the words Catholic shaming? Oh. A peacock, but all the eyes on the feathers are human. The spreading of the tail isn't a mating display. It's to help with finding and hunting prey. Similarly to a chameleon, you can tell when it has locked onto a target because of all the dozens of eyes that were previously looking in different directions suddenly snap to look at one thing. Otherwise, it's a normal peacock and interacts normally with other peacocks. Grazing on vegetation and occasionally eating rodents or birds that get too close and almost never taking human infants. Okay, this is not a shitty cryptid. I think he's kind of cute. I don't know. Men will literally fry rice. Shrimp behavior. I've never fried rice. I want a Spider-Man and Deadpool movie that's PG-13, and of course, Wade is constantly breaking the fourth wall. He's making up all these filler cuss words, and when Peter is confused, like WTF, Wade just says, I only get one f word in this movie, so I'm saving it for an opportune moment. Then there's a moment of silence as Wade realizes what he said. He hangs his head with a disappointed sigh, followed by a bleeped out f
I have to share this with y'all. My sister was looking up different ancient death gods from around the world, and she discovered a guy called Medjed from ancient Egyptian mythology. His name means the smiter, and he's from the Book of the Dead, and he shoots out of his eyes. Oh, and he looks like this, the smiter. Brandon C. Verified Buyer, five Pikachu heads out of five, age 20 to 30, snail, he eyes big. Stimming isn't enough, I need to fucking explode. <laughs> said the creeper from Minecraft. Two-handed sword that belonged to the Bavarian Prince Elector Maximilian II, 1689. What stat requirements do you need to use it? The sword in that last reblog is so much bigger than it looks. Oh, 50 strength, gotcha. Very unsettling threats. I will boil your teeth. I swear to God I will fill your sinuses with urine. I will invert your ribcage. I will squeeze your kneecaps. I'm gonna harvest your toes. I will pour cement into your ears. This is by no means a complete list. Please feel free to add what you like. Smile. Zuko was having a crisis for three weeks after joining the gang because he realizes A, Katara, Aang, and Sokka could have and would have easily murdered him had they been about 5% more emotionally unstable, and B, he had stopped actively trying to capture the Avatar right before the person who had no such qualms about murder, Toph, joined their team. Yeah, um... I have not watched Avatar. <laughs> okay, so there's a game me and my friends play called Don't Get Me Started, and basically someone gives another person a random topic and they have to go on an angry rant about it, and it's the best thing that's ever happened to us at parties and car rides, so I highly recommend playing sometimes with your friends. I will keep that in mind. Shout out to the guy in charge of the train station at my hometown who doesn't limit himself to announcing trains, but also comments on interesting birds he sees on the platform, gives completely unofficial weather reports on what he thinks the day is going to be like, refers to very crowded trains as friendly trains, regularly congratulates everyone on having gotten up on time on Monday mornings, basically seems to use the tannoy system to amuse himself and try to brighten up everyone's morning commute, refers to himself as the fat controller. What magical land do you live where there is something other than a robot in charge of the train announcing? <laughs> Two. When you pss 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 into the void, sometime it pss 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 back. A woman's place is on the battlefield. So you think women should die? Funny how you immediately assumed the women would lose the battle. Misogynist much? You're right. I will reflect on my behavior. Sorry, women. Now that's what you like to see. <laughs> you Tumblr, you don't even think I'm real. Who made this fake screenshot? It's really well done. For real, shout out to jars of minced garlic. I would straight up never cook if I didn't have pre-minced garlic. Some people bitch about stuff like that and say it's for people who can't cook or it's not as good, but honestly, I don't have a lot of energy at the end of the day. I am not very skilled in the kitchen, and I get overwhelmed by things that have lots of steps. Things like pre-minced garlic allow me to make real food for my family because it cuts out extra prep work and washing that would otherwise scare me away from a recipe. And the end result tastes good. Don't worry about pretentious people's opinions. Take shortcuts. Used jarred garlic. So anyway, I think the problem these days lies in vapes and dating apps. Get rid of them and f*** the dude you bummed a sig from like God intended. 1QAZS3EDC5GB7UM Gamers talking about PC specs. Me saying hi with my keyboard. <laughs> this is a wretch from of gold. I will reward you, my friend. I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine, but then stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it into the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowes, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. The world would be so much better if people would just unironically write stuff like this. I'm tired of books that take themselves seriously. Please write this. The world needs a laugh. Remember when you could say stuff like, The Earth is round, uh, Nazis are bad, and be absolutely certain everyone who heard you would agree? Remember when you could say, We shouldn't attack children with tear gas, and be absolutely certain everyone who heard you would agree? <laughs> Remember when you could say, You shouldn't let your children catch fatal preventable diseases, and be absolutely certain everyone who heard it would agree <laughs> the world is in a terrible state today i learned that ants will heal other ants after raids and that mortally wounded ants will refuse treatment via reddit.com do not deny me my warrior's death brother i will die alongside my fellow ants it's really august huh hmm like eight whole months i have passed disgusting the post was written in 2018, but it hits a lot harder now. Yeah, it does. 
Auntie Mom, it's okay if you don't finish your plate because you're only human and the vast majority of food waste comes from corporations and government organizations throwing it away and not households. Auntie Dad, as long as you live under my roof, we will communicate and negotiate the terms and rules together to make it the most pleasant living experience for the both of us. This, this is the Adams Family. That's because the Adams Family are a healthy family, unlike the average American one. Ha! History class is really just catching you up to speed on every Everything you've missed before you were born. Previously on, uh, just, just freaking everything, dude. Just everything. Doctors and all other medical specialists during checkups. Hmm, well, it seems like nothing is wrong with you. You say you are having pain? I don't know. Take some Tylenol and sleep it off, I guess. You will probably live. Dentist, your teeth are yellow as crap and your gums are unhealthy. You only brush twice a day when you should be doing it four times an hour. Why don't you floss? I see darkness in your future and the darkness represents cavities. You've got diseases we have haven't even seen before. All your crap is freaked up, my guy. Even your jawline sucks, and I don't even test for that. Absolutely pathetic. Don't show your face yet again. Lose all your teeth. I check my pockets as I lock the door behind me. I got my keys, my wallet, my phone, my bags. Is that everything? I stop. I look in the mirror. <gasps> my poison shielding mask. Oh no! Yeah, 2020 is kind of like an anime. A really crappy one, but uh, this show's a good one. These uh, are the same picture, just on opposite sides of the spectrum. Well, you're not wrong there, bud. I am the czar of Tumblr. Now, if you want to do something, you got to ask me. Permission to come, sir. I am no longer the czar of Tumblr. I retire. Today I learned Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enhance the weapon with the animal spirit. This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon in the bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Mmm, frick off, egghead, it's because of bone magic. Yes, bone magic, yes! I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. I use a mascot as a dog on my channel and people call me a furry. Well, thanks, internet. Today I learned that in 2002, a researcher found that the average eight-year-old British child could identify 80% of Pokemon, but only 50% of common wildlife species. Uh, common wildlife species don't normally yell their names at you. Dog, 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 a cat, 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 finch chickadee, finch chickadee. <laughs> Oh, the world would be a better place. I fused Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel. Dwayne Johnson together, and he looks surprisingly more innocent than his two contributors. I thrust him. Uh, dude, I don't. That guy looks like he might murder you in your sleep. That smile's hiding something. Waiter. Uh, sir, the food is free for children under 10. Dad. Oh, that's great, because he recently turned 9. But Dad, I'm 12. Mm. At first, I thought the child wanted to say 12, but it's funnier when you imagine they were going to say 20. Oh, yes it is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm under 10 at heart, so all my food is free at restaurants. I'd uh, call you a frick boy, but uh, since I don't know your agenda, I'm just gonna call you a frick, and you gotta live with that. The one true ally. Today I learned when people are electrocuted and thrown far distances, it is a result of sudden and violent muscle contraction and not the result of the shock. This has raised questions as to actual strength and capabilities of the muscles in the human body. Are you telling me we are capable of yeeting ourselves when under extreme stress? Well, there's a window right there, out I go! Blonde hair is so romanticized and sought after, and brown hair is considered plain, but consider we've actually got eyebrows. I'm blonde and your post is so rude. I'm literally blondes are prettier at least brunettes have eyebrows uh my dude i've got blonde hair and i've got eyebrows my eyebrows are actually brown but my hair is blonde so uh suck it tumblr 13 to 16 year old nowadays don't have a gray point they'll say something like racial issues prevail because the heads of the capitalist system are benefited by it and three seconds later tweet something like bob the builder owns my ooh woo smiley wiley face without batting an eye this is the true gen z experience Experience. Um, once in my six hour, we were talking about 9-11 and I announced very loudly more people died in Hurricane Maria than in 9-11, but nobody really cares because you can't use hurricanes to justify imperialism. And then not even five seconds later, I said, Yeehaw, my beats, my buddy. Why am I nostalgic for my teenage years, snitch? I didn't even have fun. Like, what the hell? Yeah, but uh, your back didn't hurt. My back doesn't hurt because I'm still in those years, thank God, but I can't wait to turn 20 and be like, oh God, my back.
time to die. I'm a little bit drunk right now, but I'm laughing my booty off because Wallace is literally the most sexist being ever brought into creation. Look at him. On a frick scale of 0 to 10, he is easily a negative 30. He is nothing. He is a man in a sweater vest who eats cheese. He's like a Mormon's fantasy. Ah, but he does always get the girl in the movies. I love Wallace and Gromit. It's a great film and a great series. People who prefer hot weather. Snow and ice are pain and the cold is just kind of uncountable even when you wrap up, you know? People who prefer cold weather. My skin literally melts off every summer. I am a freaking human soup as we speak. You wouldn't believe how many people reblog this to whine about hot weather in the tags. Too cold? Put on another layer. Too hot? Change into thinner clothes. Still too cold? Put on another layer. Still too hot? Uh, get naked, I guess. Still too cold? Put on another layer. Still too hot? Take off your skin. The cold is easily shut out. The heat is inescapable hell. The truth comes out. Avoidance techniques for the cold. More coats, fire, hot food and drink. Stay inside. Fuzzy sweaters, earmuffs. Become a burrito. Avoidance techniques for the heat. Die, I guess. Oh, the humanity. It just dawned on to me. I'm doing more reading in this episode than I did in all of 10th grade. Thanks, public school system. Moving on. Life hack. Got something you need to do at certain time every day, e.g. take meds? Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's a damn good advice. A cat wrote this. Ooh, ooh, pet me faster. You smart son of a snitch. A centaur in disguise by Michael Tolo. This is the most precious centaur art I've ever seen. Look at the horse's little face. It's kind of cute. Look at him. He's like, oh, look at the little schma. Oh, God, it's haunted. Oh, to be a kid in front of a bin of multicolored rocks in an obscure gift shop. <laughs> Fill the bag. This brings me back memories to Camel Beach as a kid. When I could leave the house. I miss water parks, man. Apparently, when my grandma first came to America, she didn't know what a raccoon was and assumed it was fricked up cat and adopted it. I just imagine this 13 year old girl with a heavy Eastern European accent being like, this is my cat, Petre. He is not very friendly. Yes, yes, he is not very friendly at all. He bites people. My family are farmers from my mother's side. And when I was a kid, my grandmother said something along the lines of, if you can grow anything, you have a pure heart. Plants feed off your soul as much as they feed off the earth. Be kind to them. They pray to God. Uh, she told me this while taking off the spikes of cactus pears. Now I buy dying plants from the hardware store on clearance and easily bring them back to life. Every time I doubt my heart, I bring home hordes of plants to bring them back to life as if it's a test of the purity of my soul. Every plant I have dies. <clears throat> According to the old lady in an uh, old booty village in Palestine, you a snitch then, my dude. You a snitch then. Yeah, I, I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. I bought a cactus this summer and I killed a cactus. One of the hardest plants to kill. Oh god, I'm a bad person. Top five things in cartoon trash. Apple core, fish skeleton, bottle, tin can with a jar lid, miscellaneous background lumps of dark green. How the frick could you leave out my main man banana peel? I know Donkey Kong didn't. Ho ho, it is not a term until you bring out the family trebuchet. I regret to announce that the family trebuchet has been retired following an incident wherein the trebuchet loved a pumpkin backwards, taking out a truck window before self-destructing when the counterweight swung into one of the support legs, shattering it instantly. I am delighted to announce that my dad has begun work on a new trebuchet. The tradition lives on. <laughs> I don't know why I did that in a crappy French accent. Criticizing the work of Stephanie Meyer all you like, but she has let Twilight die of natural causes rather than viciously reanimated corpse with every tweet. Yes, this is about you, JKR. JKR, you have ruined Harry Potter for me. <laughs> Patrick's watches are by far the funniest thing in the world to me right now. Dude, he's got a drawn on one, punched a clock, got a tied on alarm clock. Oh, and then he's got a band aid one. Nothing makes me more nervous than my bus taking a different route than it normally does. Like, where are you taking me? Me, I'm the king of public transportation. A ghoul haunting the streets that run like veins through the city. The bus. 
turns left where it normally goes straight. I am a naked and alone in the universe and no one is watching over me. Oh God, Bus, why have you done this to me? Today, I learned our walking speed is affected by whom we're with. Men's pace slows down by an average of 7% when walking with females. Partners they're interested in, women walking together, move the slowest, and men walking with male friends moved at their speeds faster than either men's preferred walking speed. Just zooming around with the lads. Scientifically proven hoes just slow you down. You know what they say, bros before hoes.